Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. In today's video, I'm talking about something slightly different. So if you are new to my channel, my typical content focuses on hair care, trying all types of different hair care. So I'd love for you to join me if you are new or joining me in today's video. But if you are new and you are joining just for today's video, then today I'm talking about my lip filler experience. So I recently, as in, so the Saturday just gone, today when I'm filming this video, it's the Thursday after, and I got my lips done. Um, I'm filming this video kind of after because I wanted to talk about the whole experience from like deciding to get it, why I decided to get it done, to now in terms of the recovery, what I experienced. I took videos and photos along the way and my lips are freshly done. So I wanted to jump on today because they are fully healed and I wanted to just chat about the experience. I watched so many of these videos leading up to it and obviously if you are watching these videos, that's fantastic because I feel like research is one of the biggest things you can do when you're doing anything. I did videos when I got a piercing and I wanted to do a video when I got my lips done because it was something I was considering for so long and I think I watched probably every single video on YouTube where someone shared their experience and kind of chatted about what to expect. So I hope this video serves the same purpose for anyone that's considering it, doing some research. But with that all said and done, let's dive it straight into the video. So I've made tons of notes on my phone. So if I do look down, it's because I've written everything down. And like I said, I also took loads of videos and photos to show you along the way. I wanted to start with why I decided to get them done and how long I've been contemplating doing it. So it basically would have started probably over a year ago now. I just noticed that my top lip was becoming a lot thinner and I don't know whether that's kind of age related or what but my top lip just began to shrink more and more and it got to the point where I was like really noticing it and it I just generally felt a bit self-conscious about it um it's obviously something that when you start noticing something you then like forever notice it so it was over a year ago when I kind of like posed the idea in my head of like this could help so it's obviously like not encouraging anyone to like spontaneously get it done but there are reasons why people decide to get things like this done and i think that so long as you make a decision based on your happiness alone absolutely like you can only do that you can only do what makes you happy rich obviously my husband really didn't want me to get it done i think he just saw horror stories about it and was really against it so if anything i wasn't doing it for anyone else i had to convince everyone else that i was doing it for me and like why i wanted to do it so i was contemplating it for like i said for over a year and then it was my wedding last year was october and i started like genuinely like starting my research where to get it done like finding out people that i know that have had it done and like asking them questions and stuff like that so I kind of like was contemplating it for a while and then it got to like October of 2021 and I was like, okay, you know what, I think I'm gonna do it, but I need to make sure I do it right and like make sure I get all the information. So that's when I started like looking and like working out like obviously pricing, what where to get it done, and things like that. And then jump to the time of actually booking it. So I actually inquired with someone that has recently opened a salon near me. They had tons of aesthetic like uh, experience, but they just recently moved to my hometown. So I decided to give them a message because they were doing before and afters. And I think the biggest thing when it comes to researching where you wanna get it done is obviously see a practitioner's work, see what they've done before and see if it aligns with what you want to achieve. And obviously I think sometimes lip filler can look so different on like everyone, but generally people have a specific technique or style that I preferred and there were some that I didn't prefer. Things that just looked too dramatic for me I didn't want to achieve and um, I wanted to start very natural because I wanted to basically build on my top lip that's where I wanted to start but I also wanted to have that conversation where I wanted to make sure that what I wanted and also what's achievable was aligned to achieve it in a natural way anyway so I basically messaged this lady that opened a salon recently and I kind of just said to her like I was like looking for more information like you know what's the process what's the pricing and she basically I think I messaged her like on the Tuesday of a week and she said it's so funny that you messaged because I've had a cancellation for this Saturday so if you wanted to book in then obviously you can like that early otherwise obviously there's normally a bit of a wait so I was like okay like I just kind of took that as my opportunity to like not to think too much about it because I've done tons of research at this point 
and the fact that she had this cancellation otherwise I probably would have had to have waited a few more weeks which I wouldn't have minded because again you're waiting for someone that's going to be good but I also just took that as the opportunity like okay let's just do it like let's just do it so I basically booked it then and then I was like oh my god what have I done so when I booked it I had to pay a deposit I guess for them from a new client perspective they obviously want to make sure that you are booking in and that you're happy with that and um, she booked an extended period of time because then you have your consultation before you actually have your lip filler done so we combine the two like within one session and while she's doing the consultation you're sat there like with numbing cream on and making sure that's all numb but obviously I will chat about that specifically I guess then we can kind of jump to the day of so I got it done on Saturday and I got it done at 11 a.m so I would have preferred it to have been first thing of the morning so I wake up and like go there but I still had a bit of pondering to do so that morning I was generally really worried I think I was worried because I wasn't sure what to expect and I just wasn't you know it's one of those things that's like on your face if you don't like it it's really hard to a not show that you don't like it but also like it's there and everyone can see it so i really was worried in terms of like modifying my face for something that's like a vanity reason so i was just generally a little bit nervous um, and i was also really nervous about the pain i think everyone's pain threshold is different and what to expect is different but i'm also generally not the biggest fan of injections i don't think anyone really is um but yeah it was something that i was a bit worried about so i was literally just like pacing up and down that morning like really nervous i just made sure i like did my hair i did very minimal makeup so you obviously don't want to go in with like a full face of makeup because a you're going to put numbing cream everywhere but also like they need to wipe everything off to get to your lips and make sure it's super sanitized which is obviously really important so i did like very minimal makeup but i still wanted to do something because i was just i think i was just trying to lose myself in a couple of hours so yeah that was all ready and then it was like time to go first of all I couldn't find the salon but during the actual day the lady was so so nice we chatted about what I wanted to achieve she kind of assessed my lips and she basically said to me that I went for 1.1 mil to start with and she said that that would look really natural on my lips because I have quite a wide smile and I guess my face is generally quite big because I'm quite tall and um, so the filler obviously won't enhance too much but it will give me a really natural finish and then you can build upon that if you want to to basically add a additional volume so it was great that you kind of knew that going into it we then literally sat there for like 15 to 20 minutes with the numbing cream on my lips so first of all i put it on my lips so i literally put it on my lips and then she was like because this is your first time do another layer make sure you're super happy with like how numb they are you can never really have too much numbing cream so i literally sat there added more we just chatted again just chatting about like what i was looking for if i was still nervous and things like that she obviously explained what to expect as well and she spoke about how she would actually do the specific technique and she would continue to let me know how much filler there is at any given time and her focus is as she's doing it so i can almost envision it in my mind which is really great then i laid down on the like bed and she had like tons of light so at the moment when i'm filming this i have like a ring light and she kind of had like multiple lights like this all around so she could see every nook and cranny on your lips so to start with her technique was first of all she built like the border of my lips because I really wanted to focus on my top lip like predominantly she first of all worked on the borders of my lips so she really focused on just adding some volume around the edges essentially and what I can tell you is the top like as she went in at the top here I don't think I put numbing cream high enough so when she made an injection at the top of like the center of my lip that was the most painful part for me so if i were to do it again or when i do it again i'm gonna make sure i put numbing cream literally up to like almost under my nose because that was the bit that i didn't expect and i like full-on felt that so obviously you can tell the numbing cream worked but the filler that i had actually had a like numbing agent within it so as soon as it kind of went in you then didn't feel it anymore but you definitely feel the incision so yeah just make sure that you put numbing cream at the top because that was the worst bit for me and then what she also did because she put it there she did a slight like lift because my top lip because it was like thinning out a little bit i lost the shape of my cupid's bow so she brought that forward a little bit without doing too much of a dramatic russian look i don't like it where it's just like totally russian but she did a little bit just so that it could achieve the lift there 
and I could have a more defined cupid's bow which I'm really pleased she did because when I apply lipstick I've just got a gloss on today but when I apply lipstick they look so defined I don't need to overdraw my lips at all the other thing that she mentioned as well is that 1.1 mil for me would build the foundation level so she recommended for me to achieve what I kind of explained I wanted it would be worth me going again getting another one mil just to build on top of it and add more volume so as you can see here this isn't the completed lips basically like with 1.1 mil in and so she recommended to come back in a couple of months and build that and what she also said is when you do that the filler also lasts longer because you've also got these kind of like two layers one's built the foundation the other one kind of sits on top of it in a way and it just tends to last a little bit longer so that's what i'm going to be doing when it comes to it because I'm really happy with the way that they've looked and I think my top lip looks so dramatically different. Um, I think just from a volume perspective then, I probably, you just missed the swelling, so I'm gonna jump into that. She also did add a little extra filler to my right side of my mouth compared to the left because just naturally your lips have a bit of a structure and one side might be slightly higher than the other. So she just tried to even everything out. I forgot to mention as well, when she, um, after she built the like border of the filler, she then went in to add the volume and that was the focus at the top in terms of adding the specific volume so her technique was build the border first go in add the volume after because then you can assess how much filler you have left after doing that and then you can like work out where the best points are so she added a lot more to the top than she did the bottom I think it was like 70% more than the bottom I don't think there's much filler at all in here just a little um but more was put on top because that was my insecure area was the fact that my top lip was a lot thinner obviously if we bulked out my bottom lip it would look the same so yeah there was definitely that and now I feel like they're definitely looking a lot more even if we did it the next time we will basically go in with the same on both and just achieve a little bit more just volume overall once she was all done she covered my lips in arnica cream arnica cream basically helps bruising I also bought some to have at home as well she also put then a like red tinted like lip gloss on I remember looking in the mirror thinking I wasn't sure whether it was a gloss or whether my lips were just really really red but it was actually just a gloss and it was just so she could take some really nice photos for her Instagram but she also gave me a little aftercare bag which included an ice pack to use when my lips would eventually swell a aftercare like pamphlet just to tell you what you can and can't do over the next couple of weeks and just kind of tips in terms of if you're experiencing swelling to do this avoid this avoid this Something she did mention to me, which I've seen being different advice on other videos, so I thought I'd mention it, is that she said, if you experience any like lumps within your lips, don't massage them out. So don't massage them out within the first two weeks because you can basically move the filler and you can migrate it, which you don't want to do. She basically said, if there were any lumps where I obviously like you could see them or it was just like uncomfortable to me or I could like visually see them and I didn't want them there I could literally just send her a message and pop in and she would like massage them out to make sure that I didn't move the filler which I thought was really great it just basically said lumps will probably come and go over the next two weeks and just if you can leave them be that's probably best because it's just settling in if they're still there after two weeks then just again drop her a message and she can sort that out for me so in terms of lumps even now I can feel like a tiny tiny one at the bottom of my lips but it's also like you can't see it I can only kind of feel it and so I haven't even reached a week yet let alone two so I obviously just want to like let it do its thing and if it's still there or if I notice any more lumps over the next two weeks then obviously I'll let her know and she can just sort them out but otherwise they've really settled down so well so then when I got home obviously the numbing cream began to wear off which is something that I was quite worried about because normally you can tell like when you've been injected and i just knew the numbing cream wouldn't last forever but it wasn't painful at all it was just a little bit sore it's just the same i feel like if you've had like dental work done where they've numbed you you feel soreness around the area but you don't feel like particular sharp points and the same went for my lips most prominent in terms of looking at but i couldn't feel was the actual injection mark so especially on the top right of my lip you could really see it was like a red like injection 
point i mean i didn't want to touch that until it fully dried and i could clean it myself and pat it dry but that was very very evident in terms of like the injection marks what was really surprising is that i feel like i expected my lips to feel really really hard after and like probably really lumpy but they didn't at all they felt just like my normal lips just a little bit sore i could eat and drink normally you just need to be a little bit more careful so when i ate i cut my food up really really small when i drank i just drank like little sips i didn't drink for a straw because i didn't want to make that movement like going like this hurt because it was just sore so i would just drink like normal water from a glass and that was absolutely fine so eating and drinking was absolutely fine i could do that as soon as i felt like comfortable to do so i remember rich that night made us like these amazing homemade burgers and i had to cut them like so tiny just to like get them into my mouth but otherwise you know i could eat them as normal so the biggest i guess reaction in terms of the healing process was that night so the night after getting them done they swelled to the biggest that they were i literally put Heidi to bed and I could feel they were like just so big so I sat there and I put an ice pack on and that just really helped cool the swelling down and just I guess just like cool my lips down as well because the bigger they got just the more sore they felt you could almost like feel your heart beat in them like that's how swollen they got so I just put the ice pack on and that really alleviated any pain or discomfort not pain really it was just like it was just soreness and throbbing. And then the next day, so I went to bed that night thinking, these are gonna bruise big time. You know when you like hit your knee or something and you know you're gonna bruise the next day? That's what I felt like. I was so confident that I was gonna wake up with really bruised lips. The fact I could see the injection points and then they swelled so much, I felt like the combination of the two just meant I was gonna bruise so much. But I woke up and they had just gone down significantly. There was absolutely no bruising. But at this point is when you miss the swelling. So I've seen tons of videos where people say, you know, their lips swell so much. They're like, oh my God, this is what I want. They go down and they're like, actually, I miss that volume. Same goes a little bit. Um, I think because mine swelled and didn't look too natural, I was a bit like concerned because it was my first time doing it. But the fact they've gone down now to I feel like a really natural level, I know that I will probably go back and get another meal in a couple of months as she advised, because then I'm gonna get that additional volume that I, I guess lost once the swelling went down. But again, the only swelling I really had was that night, that first night. The next day, literally, they were fine. You can literally see then what your lips are gonna look like because the fillers calmed down a little bit, the swelling's gone down. And I think for me, I was really concerned in terms of like, are these gonna go down more? Because then you wish the swelling away and then you're like, oh my God, no, I like don't want them to go down, but they kind of have just stayed at that level since. So my recovery was super, super quick. The only thing I couldn't do, I couldn't go like that, like move my lip in. I think because my top lip had more filler in it than the bottom, that remained just a little bit more sensitive and movement there was a little bit more limited than obviously what I can do now. Um, but that was like the biggest thing was just the movement of the top. The bottom one, honestly, I could like feel no different. I think because the two felt slightly different, it was a really weird experience because I was like really paranoid about my top lip, but I almost couldn't feel my bottom one. It was so strange. I think what helped the bruising was the arnica cream because i am typically someone that does bruise quite a lot so the arnica cream really helped to prevent that in my opinion and i think as and when i get my next lot i'm gonna just stock up on that arnica cream and make sure i apply it because if i can have the same recovery time as i have now i would be so so happy other thing to note is on day two my lips were just so dry like they weren't sore they weren't painful they weren't tingly they were just super dry so i did have a lip balm that was provided in the after care kit but i just felt like carmix for me was the best thing in terms of hydration so i just lathered my lips up in carmex 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 all day long literally to the point my lips were like wet you don't put makeup on for the first couple of days just because again you don't want any infections or anything and yeah that carmex really saved my lips so much and i think just because i got them done and it was quite a cold day it's something that you're very very aware of but yeah as soon as i finished applying the carmex basically in the day my lips felt super plumped and if anything they looked so much better because normally when they're dry they look even smaller but because i got filler in them now when they were super hydrated they look super super full so i just loved the way that it looked just with carmex like it just looks so dramatically different and now i can put kind of lip gloss on and lipstick on and everything just looks 
better and more even which is what I wanted to go for and the other thing to really note is the fact that you just need to drink tons of water I think I had a hyaluronic acid filler which I don't think I've mentioned and you just have to keep hydrated and that prevents lumps as well so I just made sure I drank tons and tons of water over the like the first couple of days of recovery but even now just making a habit of drinking water because I'm terrible at it and just yeah making sure that my lips feel super good making sure that I moisturize them when they're feeling a little bit dry or just continuing to moisturize them so they don't feel dry wearing less kind of matte lip products and wearing more gloss or you know lip gloss or anything like that and yeah I am super super happy with them I think that the before and after just it makes me feel so happy because I was so so nervous to get them done I really didn't know what to expect but I just feel like because I bit the bullet and I did it and I did it for me I'm just so so pleased and yeah I feel like the fact that I got them done on Saturday and it's now Thursday you I don't think you could tell I could probably not even jump on and do this video and you probably wouldn't even realize I got lip filler really they've settled down so well but the evenness like my top lip now exists so I'm super happy with that and I wanted to just share my experience I hope that that has helped to conclude my experience and provide some insight for anyone that is considering getting it done but if there's any questions that you have that I haven't answered leave them down below I think one of the questions that I will probably get is how much it costs so I paid 155 pounds that was for 1.1 mil and then if you're a returning customer for this specific lady she will then do a top up of one mil for 120 so i'm based in devon so i know that prices in london are significantly more expensive than in devon but that's the case for like everything to be honest so yeah that's how much i paid i'm trying to think of any um other questions that I could probably anticipate but anything that you want to ask please do leave it down below because I answer every question that I get on my video so please do leave them down below and I'll make sure that I get back to you and yeah I hope this video has been helpful to anyone that's considering it just make sure you're doing it for you if you are researching it that's great but I would just say think about it for a couple of months at least just to make sure it's definitely what you want but then I also for me I always knew if I didn't like it the option to dissolve it is also there so yeah i hope this video has been helpful to anyone considering it don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more of my videos but that's all from me today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye